Hey Rollers, if you've watched my videos, you've seen me get tapped out as a white belt with this move. You've also seen me learn from my mistakes and use it as a blue belt. Now what happened when I tried it against a larger skilled opponent as a purple belt? Well, stay tuned to find out. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. That doesn't make sense. The first thing I noticed about my opponent is that he was much bigger and stronger than me. Then I found out he had some wrestling skills. Check out that double leg. He flung me out into the parking lot and I hit my head on a Buick. Guy came along with some cowboy oh, Wait a minute, that's a different story. Here, it looks like I had a grip on his head, but my hips were in terrible position. He wouldn't let me get my left leg out and I knew I had to control his right arm or I'd be risking a Von Flu choke. I worked for wrist control and then I let go of his head in a Kimura attempt. That didn't work out, but I did get to full guard and we were moved back to the center. I could feel this guy's horsepower as he pressed down on my hips and pushed away. When people try to back away like this, I like to prop up and look for a hip bump sweep, but his pressure on my hips made that impossible. I tried the old wrist push through triangle setup, but as soon as my guard opened up, he took that as a green light to power around my legs. I'm not sure why I held onto his leg like this. There's a better angle on this in a minute, but he's using a powerful grip under my neck so that he can apply some serious shoulder pressure while he frees his foot. As soon as he could turn in, he went to a low knee on belly. If you're keeping score at home, you'll know that I'm getting destroyed with a score of 0 to 7. He seemed to be content to pour on the pressure, so I realized I was going to have to start framing and creating some movement. I got my legs involved a little bit, and I worked harder at digging my forearm into his neck. That left my arm a bit exposed, so he caught my arm in an Americana, and I went into full panic mode to muscle my way out. Once again, he wrapped up my head and he poured on the pressure. Notice here how his fingers are digging into the side of my neck. This amped up the already overwhelming pressure that he was using to turn my head to the right and discourage any thoughts of turning in. I squirmed around for another minute and a half, which I'm zipping through so that I can get to the question that I asked at the beginning of the video. Is the move going to work? So, after passing my guard again, he left a little bit of space. I tried the move, and it worked for a quick tap. I was worried that he may be hurt, but he was fine. I'm honestly not sure what that move is called. Let me know in the comments, or better yet, suggest a creative name that I can use for it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.